Morning, friends. Got my Christmas lights hung up. Got my Christmas tree hung up. Motorhome size Christmas tree. Lights look better at night, of course. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Speaking of Christmas, here in Quartzsite, Arizona, I got a present. If you watched my video about the uh, bird feeder with the camera, my son and I were talking about, oh, hey, we should uh, make one with a camera and a hummingbird feeder. Well, the Soleon company must have heard the universe talking about it because they sent me one. A hummingbird feeder with a camera in it. Uh, I know a lot of people like to get this for Christmas. It's a 1080p two-way intercom, IP65 rainproof, built-in battery, motion detection, cloud and SD card storage, easy cleaning, and there was something in the literature that attracted me because one of the problems we have with the bird feeders and the uh, hummingbird feeders in particular up there at the ranch is that the bees get into the hummingbird feeder and then something in this when I was reading about it, said it's bee-proof. Don't know how that works, but we're going to figure it out. I saw one hummingbird come to my other little feeder today, so hopefully we can get this up and get some good pictures of hummingbirds. Let's see what we got in the box. We have a note oh, about how to pour the nectar in and how to mix it, uh, pairing the camera, user manual, oh, a bird feeding guide. Look at that. It's like all the different uh, kinds of birds and what they like to eat. Hmm. Interesting. This would be oh blue and white flowers. Hmm. Uh, a hanger, a charging cord, and the Oh, look at this. You get uh, cleaning brushes with it. Two different kinds of brushes. And what's that? Oh, the antenna for the Wi-Fi camera. And the bird feeder itself. Look at that. Oh, and these little hooks things here. Uh, I'm assuming that goes in there. So the hummingbird has a place to sit if he wants to sit while he's sipping. Well, we'll get it filled up and see how it works. Got two of these. Guess it's just an extra. Pretty cute. Figured out a few more things here. The QR code worked perfectly to download the Soleom app that helps you with the camera. The owner's manual is 33 pages in English and very comprehensive rather than two pages in English and 40 more languages like I've seen a few times. Turns out that the flowers are all interchangeable. Um, I've always seen yellow flowers in my bird feeders, so I put a yellow flower in the middle there. Maybe different kind of hummingbirds like blue. We'll figure that out. Really like this little book about uh, 
what all the different birds like. And there's a chart in the back that tells you how to attract them to your yard. Uh, turns out it's not bee proof. It's ant proof. You fill this part with water and you hang it up and then the ants can't climb down there and get across the moat. It's ant proof, which is good. I'm charging up the battery, it says six to eight hours. It comes with an already installed 32 gigabyte um, micro SD card and antenna screwed on easily. It's a USB-C. It did not include the thing you plugged that into. You could plug it into your computer or if you're like me, you got 20 of those things laying around anyway to plug in a US, USB charging cable. Um, like the hanger, camera comes out the back. I figured out that it's one and three quarters cups to fill it up. And by the ratio then, that is a half a cup of sugar per two cups, mas o menos. And uh, that looks like it's all dissolved pretty good. I'm gonna put it in there. Now I got all excited thinking I could just take the top off and fill it up because it's always a hassle. You gotta do it upside down and then put that lid on and turn it over. And some of the syrup always drips out, but sorry, that's not how hummingbird feeders work. You still have to turn it upside down that's a nice flat thing, so it does stay there. Um, take the bottom off and fill it. And the reason is because when you flip it back over, it's the vacuum in the top that holds the liquid from all coming out. Oh, and by the way, speaking of vacuum, you get an extra rubber seal so that that vacuum will always be there. So I'm filling it up. Gonna put the lid on, the bottom, turn it over and hang it outside while the camera is charging, see if I can get any attracted to it. So I'm just gonna hang it off my mirror there for a while. See if anybody comes to feed. Camera's not in it, camera's in the, they're charging. It says don't hang it in direct sun, but next time I move the motor home, I'll make it so that that's a shady part or I'll figure it out. But for right now, it's hanging in the sun. Hopefully we'll see a hummingbird soon. So I got the camera all charged up. Got it set. I actually saw a hummingbird. That's that one over there a little while ago, so. Looking forward to getting a picture. I got the uh, app all set up and I get, I'm getting notices on my camera or on my phone here now. So uh, let's see what we get. This is my first Hummer on camera. Unfortunately, the sun's low in the sky and it's on his back, so it's not showing up great, but better pictures to come. You can see the 24 hour clock up there in the corner. So this is uh, five minutes to three in the afternoon. Later in the afternoon with the sun at a different angle, we get better pictures. This is a still taken out of the video by my editing software. And in this next clip, I like it because you can hear the chirp of his little voice and the beat of his wings. This clip I slowed down, it's 30 frames per second, so every time you see the wings flap, that's a 30th of a second, and he's actually flapping faster than the video is going, but I like the way the sun shines early in the morning through their wings, and here's a still I took. 
I looked it up, and hummingbirds beat their wings at 70 beats per second, which is over twice as fast as video takes still pictures. I switched out one of the red flowers for a blue flower. They like the yellow flowers. They like the red flower. I've never seen one go to the blue flower. Not yet. Finally caught a hummingbird sitting on the little stand. You probably noticed we moved. We're a couple of miles away now from where we were this morning. Same kind of hummingbird. By the way, I did figure out that besides the ant moat at the top, making them ant-proof, they are in fact bee-proof because you need a long, long beak to get down to the uh, syrup. They are bee-proof. We're having a lot of fun with the Soliome Hummingbird Feeder Camera. If you'd like to have fun too, or you're stuck for figuring out a present for somebody for this time of year, link below. And right now there's a $50 off coupon. I don't know how long it'll last. Hey, been fun. Thanks for watching me today. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. See you soon from Quartzsite, Arizona. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.